isn't it concerning anyone you know the greater economic fraternity that all other industries are collapsing all other industries are suffering under the weight of debt losses eh? we, we are we are finding the economic climate riddled with uncertainty but out of all these uh, economic strife uh, banks are still posting astronomical profits now business daily last week on thursday they had an uh, article where they talked about 34 plant shutdowns reveal kenya manufacturing woes that within the last decade within the last 10 years there's been over 34 uh, manufacturing companies which have shut down each going with hundreds of jobs now uh, I don't I don't understand why this is happening because during the same period <laughs> we, we are talking about banks the top 10 lenders uh, in the last one year alone the top 10 lenders who include KCB equity NCBA Cope Bank ABSA DTB Stanbic Standard Chartered INM and HFCK uh, posted <laughs> a combined pre-tax profit of 213 billion against the industries the cumulative 244 billion yeah so all other industries are collapsing except the banks and nobody is citing the red flag because we have a moribund central bank of kenya where they, they these guys are just lame ducks they've been bribed by these banks these banks now operate under an association they call kenya's kenya bankers association where they are they are more like a cartel they tell central bank what they do the central bank considered their uh, oversight role now they are poodles of the banking system they are poodles of the world bank and imf and all at the expense of our domestic ex enterprises now uh, I w there was a story that caught my attention yeah uh, of rose kemodo rose kemodo had an interview with tuko and she was saying that uh, she borrowed the an overdraft at 12 million and by the time it was over it was at 70 million kenya shillings and who did she borrow from she borrowed from ncba uh, by, by then it was it had not even merged with uh with nic so it was cba fully owned by uh, the Kenyatta family. Uh, how did this happen? I take you back to my serialization of uh, Standard Chartered and how they bankrupted uh, an enterprise called Monaco uh, Engineering Limited. Now, I'll take you through a series of how they did it because this is identical to what Rose Kemodo went through. Rose Kemodo has taken a lot of time to come out because she couldn't speak earlier because the Kenyatta family were occupying the presidency. But now uh, she's slowly coming out with the story. But I'll break it down for you uh, until the day she's ready now to give us the actual numbers of uh, how how her loan uh, how her loan ballooned to from 12 million to 70 million so here uh, standard chat had mistakenly sent an email to monaco engineering uh, saying uh, uh, as requested please confirm the status of the customer with trans union on the basis of the overdraft so the, the the customer here had acquired and who is monaco engineering had acquired an overdraft facility with standard Chartered. Uh, and, and 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 had started complaining once he noted some discrepancies so we we continue you can see the uh, the, the email is coming from somebody called anthony jero and he's writing to them dear all please find attached hmm? a draft response to the client uh, requesting your assistance and then he assigns uh, people who are going to do like almost like a forensic audit on his bank statements because he had started noting that something is amiss you can see that letter uh, it was dated uh, it was sometime in 2014 so uh, they they continue corresponding amongst themselves and they are they put him on copy you know without without their own knowledge but uh, there's a lady there called mutuku caroline and she says hi nicholas uh, miriti has confirmed that there were instances where the interest charged was higher than 24 percent were how they had agreed uh, please confirm to mercy whether during this period there were any uh, dropped limits and higher interest rates so uh, now now let's go to let's go to the numbers because we have seen that they are corresponding and they have admitted liability let's go to the numbers so here is one bank statement uh, it's from 2013 you can see I've marked in red. Uh, on the far right is where the balance is, and then the debit interest. This is the interest rate which they are charging at that time. So you can see the 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 the, the first the first figure in the balance is nine million five hundred and ninety nine thousand three hundred and ninety one. Now the debit interest uh, because this is an overdraft facility. The debit interest is one hundred and sixty one thousand seven 
789. So let's go to the second uh, statement. Uh, now, you, at, the, at the far end, you're going, you're, you're, you're going to see the balance as 970, uh, 9,757,604. <laughs> now, this figure is lower than the initial figure that we read, uh, we just read out, but you can see the debit interest is 328,146. So, uh, go, going back to the one which we just read, uh, the, the, the first one which we just read, the first one was 9,599,000, and the debit interest was 161,000. So, this second one is uh, the uh, the 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 second one is nine hundred and seventy seven seven nine million seven hundred and fifty seven six oh four, but the debit interest has already shot up to three hundred and twenty eight almost double. Now let's look at another bank uh, another another e statement, where the uh, the the balance uh, is nine million three hundred and thirty seven thousand two hundred and thirty five. What's the debit interest? It's 217,563. You see, the numbers are fluctuating and they are sometimes growing at an exponential rate. You are wondering how they are coming up with these figures, but it's because it's because the interest rate, they, they, they were supposed to be charging the interest rate at a certain percent, but then they increase it sometimes overnight. They, sometimes they increase it every month. These are the banks and they've been allowed. That's why they've been posting astronomical profits. That's why you are seeing somebody like hmm? Joshua Weigara when he was at KCB. He used to get like a bonus alone of like 400 million. You're wondering why? It's because these banks have become have become <laughs> criminal enterprises themselves. They're, they are literally stealing and they are being, <laughs> they are being celebrated by Central Bank. The central bank has become eh, has become averse. They are burying their heads as the economy collapses under the weight of corruption by the banking sector. Patrick Njoroge, who was there earlier, he was he was a mess to this country. Eh, the, when he got in, the first banks he closed were Chase Bank. Mm, he also closed Imperial Bank, local banks. But he's he's left the these colonial banks because the impression is that because they are foreign banks that they are straight. Now, can you imagine if these guys are stealing this amount of money from 10,000 customers? They'll obviously have enough money to post those astronomical profits that they are posting. Now, let's look. Let's continue. Uh, Monaco, Monaco Engineering went and sought professional advice from a company called Iraq. E uh, interest rates advisory center if you have a problem with your bank statement and you'd like it audited for any uh, malpractices you can always go to them and below there which is uh, i've marked in red it talked about the letter dated 11th march 2013 gave a facility amount of 9.6 million that was the overdraft facility interest was to be charged at the rate of 21 percent per annum a default rate of 24 percent was to be charged or other rate was will be stipulated by the bank now they, they are talking about 24 percent now they they did an analysis where they took random uh, random transa transactions in random uh, random uh, random months so uh, because it's a big document, because it's a big volume, so they took random just to see, just to try and detect the malpractices. And you can see the summary over there. You can see uh, the, 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 the back there, the bank balance over there. They say IRAC's balance where they calculated how much he had been stolen. And at the far end, the far column, you can see that that's the difference. That's the amount of money they had stolen. You can see in June 2019, the 2013, they had uh, erroneously uh, added 29,000. In November 2013, they had 14,000. And these are random. They didn't do all by all months. These are random pages within the entire booklet, which I will be posting. The entire report, which has been presented to the Central Bank Fraud Department, I'll be posting it on my Telegram channel, uh, for subscribe t.me underscore uh, or slash Francis Gaido. Uh, please, uh, but the total, the total amount from a few months that they tabulated was 760,334. You can see they, they, these guys are literally stealing and getting away with it. That's how Rose Kemodo's bank 
uh, overdraft facility moved from 12 million to 70 million and the Kenyatta family forcefully acquired K24, they acquired Kameme and Media Max as a whole and this has been the mercenary type of business in Nairobi.